At the end of the topic, you will be able to discuss the various forms of using electricity, explain the action of an electric cell, differentiate the two types of cells, list down the appliances that run on electric cells. In this modern world, we totally depend on electricity to survive. We use many home appliances in our everyday life. They are electric iron, water heater, electric cookware, electric stove, water motors, television, audio system, electric lamp, computer and so on. Without these appliances, life is so difficult. All these home appliances are working by consuming electricity. Electricity is another form of energy. Electricity is easily transmitted from one point to the other than the other forms of energy. Electrical energy is produced from available natural sources of energy. Windmills, solar power plants, hydropower plants generate electricity from the available natural source of energy. Windmills utilizes energy from blowing wind and convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. Solar power plant uses the energy from the sun to produce electrical energy. In hydropower plant, the mechanical energy of flowing water is used to rotate the turbine of generator and produce electricity. When nuclear reaction takes place, very huge amount of heat is released. Nuclear power plants convert the heat energy produced during the nuclear reactions to electrical energy. Dear students, Scientists made a number of experiments to understand the chemicals and its reactions. We all know that during chemical reaction, heat energy is evolved or absorbed. It means that the chemical energy is converted into heat energy. Scientists prove that it is possible to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. This invention is proved and we all got a special device named as cell. We have learned that the cells convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Let us now discuss the components of electric cells. It consists of the following components. Two metal plates called electrodes, chemical solution called electrolyte. Due to the chemical reaction taking place inside the cell, one plate develops positive charge and the other plate develops negative charge. Flow of electrons through a material constitutes electric current. A simple circuit consisting of a source of electrical energy, a device that utilizes the energy and conducting wires connecting them is shown. There are two types of cells. They are primary and secondary cells. If the cell is used once completely by converting all chemical energy into electrical energy and cannot be recharged again, it is called primary cell. If the cell is used completely by converting all chemical energy into electrical energy and can be recharged again and again, it is called secondary cell. A battery is nothing but a combination of two or more cells. Batteries are available in various sizes. Here you can see some appliances. Let us try to identify those appliances that run on electric cells. The following appliances run on electric cells. Wall clock, calculator, wristwatch, electric torch. In this topic you have learned electricity is a form of energy. Electric cells convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Cells that can be used once and cannot be recharged are called primary cells. Cells that can be reused many times and can be recharged are called secondary cells. Batteries are available in different sizes and used in everyday life. At the end of the topic, you will be able to discuss the components of an electric circuit. Construct a simple electric circuit. Identify the symbols used for electric components. Explain the action of an electric switch. Classify materials as conductors and insulators. Take a metallic wire, for example a copper wire. What can you say about the movement of free electrons? 
the free electrons which are not bound to any particular atom move in all possible directions and therefore the net flow of current is zero but if the same wire is connected to the two terminals of a battery or a cell a potential difference is created and hence current flows through the wire when certain electric components like a bulb a key or a switch and a conducting wire are connected to a battery in such a way that a closed path is formed for the current to flow an electric circuit is obtained we can define the electric circuit as follows a continuous conducting path consisting of some electric components between the two terminals of a battery is called an electric circuit a simple electric circuit consists of the following source of electrical energy device using the electrical energy connecting wires made of conductors the simple circuit shown here includes a cell lamp switch and connecting wires the cell supplies the energy required to force electrons around the loop heating the filament of the bulb and causing the bulb to radiate heat and light for an electric circuit to operate any device the loop has to be completed so that electrons can flow from the battery to the device and then back again to the battery this role is being played by the switch in an electric circuit hence a switch in an electric circuit is used to open or close the circuit so as to allow current to flow through it the arrangement of various components in an electric circuit with the help of their symbols is called a circuit diagram for example if a lighting circuit is to be explained it will take more time to draw the bulb battery and wires hence we go for the symbols to represent the components thereby making the construction of a circuit diagram simple and easy a lighting circuit has a cell lamp switch and wires represented by the symbols some of the common electrical components are as follows a cell or a battery to maintain a constant potential difference due to the chemical reactions which take place inside it switch to open or close the circuit lamp that consume power to emit heat and light ammeter to measure current voltmeter to measure voltage fixed resistor that has constant resistance to control the flow of current variable resistor that has different values of resistance to control the flow of current open and closed electric circuits in a circuit if the switch is off then the circuit is called as open circuit that is no charges flow in the circuit when the switch is on then the circuit is closed circuit now the current flows in the circuit and the bulb glows let us construct an electric circuit using the materials such as lemons copper pins zinc pins and led bulb and check whether the bulb glows insert zinc pin and copper pin in all lemons connect them in series connect the small led bulb electricity flows due to the chemical reaction and make the bulb glow conductors the materials which allow current to pass through it are called conductors all metals conduct electricity for example copper aluminum silver and iron are good conductors of electric current insulators the materials which do not allow the current to pass through it is called insulator the examples are plastic rubber thread and wood observe the animation and identify the conductors and insulators
In this topic, you have learnt the electrical device connected to a battery by conducting wires forms the electrical circuit. In open circuits, current does not flow. Current flows in closed circuits. Rubber, plastic, and wood do not conduct electric current. Copper. and aluminium are good conductors of electric current at the end of the topic you will be able to explain the heating effect of current list down household appliances that work on the principle of heating effect of current describe the working of electrical heating devices energy exists in various forms one form of energy can be converted into other forms when electric current passes through certain conductors it gets converted into another form of energy known as effects of electric current here we learn more about the heating effect of electric current we will discuss an experiment on the heating effect of current when electric current is passed through metal conductors for some time heat is produced connect a very thin copper wire to two dry cells as shown in the visual keep the circuit closed for 10 minutes then you touch the copper wire what do you observe you can feel the wire is hot this is the heating effect of electric current Household appliances such as water heater, room heater, soldering rod, hair dryer, electric iron, electric toaster, electric cooker, and electric bulb work based on the heating effect of current. Let us discuss the working of some of these home appliances. Now we will discuss the working of electric heater. In the electric heater. the heat producing body is arranged in a kaolin or asbestos frame there are a number of grooves in the frame the heating element nichrome wire is passed through the grooves in the frame when the current flows through the nichrome wire it offers more resistance to the flow of current produces heat and becomes red this heat is supplied to the vessel that is kept over the frame We have identified the real life application of heating effect. Let us now learn the working of an electric bulb. Electric bulb has a spherical glass bulb containing inert gases at low pressure. A tungsten filament is in the form of a spring with leads. When current is passed through the filament, it gets heated up, becomes red hot. and emits heat and light we have learned about the electric bulb now we are going to learn about the electric stove which is used for cooking boiling milk water etc electric stove has a long coiled thin filament with a high resistance when current is passed through the stove by connecting it to mains the filament becomes red hot and heat energy is liberated we have learned about the heating effect of electric current here we are going to learn the important application of this effect which we use in our everyday life it is the electric iron box which has a heavy metal box with a filament when current flows through the filament it gets heated up which in turn heats the base plate of the iron which is made of a heavy metal and hence used to press the clothes electric fuse is a safety device that works on the principle of heating effect of current fuse wire is made of an alloy of tin and lead when large current passes through the circuit the fuse wire gets heated up and melts away hence the circuit is broken and further damage is prevented In this topic you have learned when current is passed through conductors which offers more resistance heat is produced household appliances such as water heater room heater soldering rod hair dryer electric iron electric toaster electric cooker and electric bulb work based on heating effect of current all heating appliances have a wire which produces heat when current is passed it is known as heating element 
Electric fuse is a safety device that work on the principle of heating effect of current. At the end of the topic, you will be able to explain the magnetic effect of current, discuss the Oster's experiment, describe an electromagnet, list down the applications of an electromagnet, explain the working of an electric bell. Now, let us discuss the experimental evidence of relation between the electricity and magnetism given by Hans Christian Oysted in 1820. Take a long straight copper wire. Connect it to a cell. Keep a magnetic compass near the wire. You will observe, if no current flows, there is no deflection in the magnetic needle. If current flows through the circuit, the magnetic needle shows deflection depending on the direction of flow of current. If the direction of current is changed, then the direction of deflection also changes. The deflection of the magnetic needle confirms that the current carrying wire has magnetic field. If the current flow is stopped, then the magnetic field vanishes. Click on the animation button to know more. Compass is a magnetized piece of metal that can spin freely at its pivot and help us by showing the directions. Like the bar magnet, the north tip of the compass always points towards the south pole of the earth, which is nothing but the geographical north of the earth. We know from Oysted experiment the electric current flowing through a conductor produces magnetic field around it. Hence, artificial temporary magnet of desired shape and size can be produced by electric current. Let us now learn how to make a temporary electromagnet. Take a soft iron core. Wind an insulated copper wire closely without gap between the turns over the iron core. Connect the ends of the copper wire to a battery. Now, due to the flow of current in the coil, the soft iron core behaves like a magnet. The iron core behaves like a magnet only when current flows through it. It loses its magnetic property as soon as the flow of current is stopped in the coil. Therefore, Electromagnets are temporary magnets of any desired shape. We can also design electromagnets of any required shape. For example, constructing horseshoe magnet is very simple. Take an iron core and bend it like horseshoe. Then, wind the copper wire. On supplying current, it behaves like horseshoe magnet. Click the animation button to understand more about electromagnet. Uses of electromagnets Electromagnets are used in electric motor, fan and electric bell. It is also used in storing information in audio and video magnetic tapes. In ancient periods, people used elephants to lift huge loads. In this advanced world, we have factories and industries with heavy machines. We use electromagnets to lift huge loads such as cars, trucks, cranes, machineries and so on. Now, let us learn the construction and working of an electric bell. It has a horseshoe magnet, armature, gong, hammer, metallic spring strip, screw, and key. It works based on the principle of magnetic effect of electric current. A current-carrying conductor has magnetic field around it. When the circuit is closed, current flows in the circuit and the electromagnet gets magnetized, attracts hammer, and hits the gong. When the hammer hits the gong, the circuit breaks at the screw, and the electromagnet gets demagnetized. When the electromagnet returns to its original position, the circuit is closed and the process repeats automatically 
and the bell continues to ring till the circuit is closed. Click the animation button to know more. In this topic, you have learned a magnetic field is produced around a current carrying conductor. A material that becomes a magnet when current is passed is called an electromagnet. Electromagnets are used in many appliances like electric motor, telephones, electric bell, etc. Electric bell works on the principle of magnetic effect of current.